in this video, we are going to give you some expert networking tips so you can make the most of attending conferences. We are here at ZeroCon today and we thought, what better place to do it than actually at a conference? Right! Actually, Paul, the audio is pretty darn terrible at the conference, so <laughs> why don't we just do it here in our hotel room? I feel like we would have no choice but Let's to do, do it that. here. And then we can do like a few cutaways. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. here we go. All right, so tip number one for making the most out of networking at conferences is... Act on opportunities. It's nice shrubberage. You pronounced them at recently. We actually got invited to a meal by ConvertKit. Now, the thing is, we knew nobody else who was going to this meal. And because of this, it would have been super easy to say, no, thank you, ConvertKit. We're going to go and have dinner with our friends that we know because that's like nice and safe and nice and easy. But we didn't. We said yes. And at that meal, we actually met some really, really cool people. So we're always looking for opportunities like this where we can actually say yes yes to things and go and meet people that we don't already know. And friends, it doesn't mean that we don't love you. We still have time. We still have time. We can go for, we can go for dinner with our friends. If you want to go for dinner with us, let us know. <laughs> They're not going to want to go now. No. Not that we turn them down for ConvertKit. <laughs> Tip number two. Have a flexible schedule. <laughs> It's really easy to fill your schedule with back-to-back -back sessions, but you need to give yourself some time so that you're not locked into just doing session after session after session because you want to get out there and have some time to mingle and meet people and go and look around. Have some serendipitous moments. Oh, yeah. What a word. And number three is... But have a plan. We're speaking here tomorrow. So yes, do be flexible, but also have some kind of structure, especially when it comes to the planned networking that the conference organizers may have put on for you. You should definitely know when those are. Also, there is nothing wrong with being a bit pre-prepared. Like if you know who's going to this conference, then maybe put in some meetings before you actually turn up. And number four is... Have some conversation starters. Andrew, you comfy? If you're an introvert, it's really handy to just have some pre-prepared questions ready to start those conversations so they're not like really awkward like hi, 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 uh, hi. Uh, uh. That's how you start all your conversations, right? And hi. Uh. <laughs> so you could ask, are you enjoying the event? Or what are you looking forward to? Have you been to this event before? Oh, a really, really simple but effective one. Hey, what's your name? Without the point. Without the point and don't, the wing. Don't do that. But okay. asking people the name. Hey, what's your name? Solid. Mm. I like that. <laughs> and number five is... Make sure you have time for following up. After the event, you are going to want to follow up. Even if it's just to say, nice to meet you. Without, without the point again. Pointing a lot. The lighting in this room is not good. Like, you could do puppets on my shirt. Like hand puppets. <laughs> and here's the top tip for this, because you're gonna probably meet a few people, and if you're anything like Pete, your brain cannot handle that amount of information all at once. It could be something as simple as writing a note in your phone, or even maybe writing on their business card, what you're following up with them for. And number six is, make sure you introduce yourself to the staff. Hey, I'm Pete, nice to meet you. Hello. Staff, i.e. the organizers, have put on an incredible event. So you need to go say thank you to them. But also, they are great people to build relationships. Not only are they in the know, not only can they put you in touch with lots of other people, but if you ever want to speak on their stage, then you need to get to know the organizers. And number seven! Keep up the energy! So you can max out every social opportunity and every networking opportunity. You want to have as much energy as possible. So make sure you get sleep and make sure you are eating healthily. Like try to have a healthy lunch so you don't have that mid-afternoon lull where you're just yawning into people's faces rather than asking them those handy mm, conversation nice starters. To nice to meet you. And number eight. Eight is... Book off some time after the event by a tree. A tree. 
feel like this is just one of those things that people do. It's the worst thing you can possibly do. Don't just go back to your home, go back to your office and carry on as if nothing ever happened. You've just been to a conference. There's lots of people to follow up with. There's lots of conferencing things to digest. You need some time to follow up on all that stuff. So make sure that you book off that time in your diary after the event, but make sure you do this before you actually go to the event. Okay, our friends, that has been it. A little bit of a different one. We will be back in the office again next week with better audio. And better lighting. Uh-huh. Although, if you do like this kind of eerie and room Peter in some kind of sex dungeon, then... <laughs> <laughs> What he was supposed to say is, Go on. I hope that's helped. And if you've got any other good conferencing tips, mm -hmm. put it in the comments so we can all learn those tips. All right, thanks guys. He's been Andrew. He's been Pete. I've been Pete. See you same time next time. <laughs> oh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more marketing and boring every single week. And check out our website, andrewpete.com. Um, buy everything that we do.